Hello, Maurice. Hello. Hello, teacher. How hello, are hello. you? I'm fine. You're How fine. about you? Oh, you know, I'm okay. I'm good. I think that I'm happy. I think that I'm, uh, you know, I'm tired, but I'm happy because finally, right, we are almost on vacation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so what about yeah. you? How are you? How do you feel? I, I feel fine. Fine? Yeah, uh, happy, happy, happy for, for vacation. Yes, of course, right? Because we are with. Have, yes, we are going to have some days, right? Vacations. So you are going yeah. to relax, right? So you are going to sleep early, probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, so um I see that we also have Pablo, we have Carlos, we have Marian. Um, okay, let me see who else. Well, right now only you guys. Uh, good evening, Pablo. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Pablo? Hi, I feel happy. You feel happy? Okay. Yes. Okay. Sir. All right. Okay. Um, okay, we also have Claudia. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So we're going to start with today's class. And today we are going to have um the warm up and we're going to have unit three. Okay. So we are going to talk about an interesting topic, and we also are going to talk about advantages and disadvantages. Okay we are going to learn how to express preferences as well. And we are going to have a speaking time and we also have grammar quiz, listening quiz, right? Which uh, we always have, okay? So to begin with guys, we are going to start with the following, okay? We are going to start with some questions, right? Um, how does your manager know, okay, those questions are related to the topic that we are going to cover today, okay? Those questions are related to that, yeah? So how does your manager know what you are working on during the office day? How does your manager know? In your case, Maurice, how does your manager know what you are working on? How? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how does your manager know mm -hmm. what you are working on? Do you fill out reports? Do you send because, because I have because I have a, a, a schedule. Perfect. Uh, but, but for me, for for me, for me, for, for me, for me, uh, the manager uh, uh, no no. Okay. Uh, in the world. At work, okay, in the old yes. yes, okay, perfect, okay, excellent. And Emerson, how do you decide when to take a break during the work day? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. So, I decide when the, my tasks are finished. Perfect, okay, yep. well done, yeah. Okay, and you, Pablo, how do you decide when to take a break during the workday? Um, I have a schedule mm -hmm. my, my, my break. Okay, all right. Yeah, you, you follow the schedule. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. Okay, and let me see. Maris, do you know what your colleagues, okay, your colleagues, colegas, okay, do you know what your colleagues are working on or no? Uh, uh, the for me, colleague, colleague. Yeah. colleagues. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, my colleagues know. Okay. Because I, 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 I need help. 
okay. uh, with mm -hmm. my colleague. Okay, you need help from your colleagues. For, 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 okay. From your colleagues, okay. Yes, guys, okay. Yeah, I think that if you work um, as a team, right, and if you also have different activities that you need to complete together, so it is very important that your colleagues know what you are doing and that you know what they are doing, right? That is crucial and very important. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's start with vocabulary, all right? So as you can see right here, what we need to do is that we are going to match the words to their meanings. If necessary, we are going to go back to the passage to check your answers. In this case, first of all, we are going to cover vocabulary and then we are going to go to the passage, right? To the reading because there is a reading. So guys, what do you think? Have you heard this term before? ¿Ya lo habían escuchado antes este término? El cual es uh, uh, surveillance. 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 ¿Ya lo habían escuchado antes el término or never? Surveillance. Maybe, maybe, maybe yes. Uh, uh -huh. vigilan de vigilancia. 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 That is the meaning. Yeah. Surveillance. Vigilancia. Okay. So if we know that is vigilancia, so which is the correct Definition. Surveillance is the act of the watching someone closely to detect a crime. Okay, to detect a crime. Okay, so number one goes like, all right, in this space. Okay, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Perfect. What about number two, which is reassure? Reassure. Mm -hmm. So reassure means tranquilizar. Reassure to remove someone's doubts and fears. Excellent. So to remove someone's doubts and fears. Perfect. That is number two. Very good. What is the meaning of behavior? Behavior. Behavior means comportamiento. The way someone acts. Excellent. So, the way someone acts. That is correct. What about number four, which is theft? Yeah, theft. What is theft? Is robo. Theft. The action or crime of the stealing. Okay, very good. So, the action or a crime of a stealing. That is number four. What about wage? What is wage? Wage is salario or sueldo. Wage. Uh, the amount of money pay to an employee, okay? Yeah. Very good. What about tip? To give a small amount of money of someone who has provided service. Correct, okay? La propina, okay, se acuerda? Okay, and number seven, a spooky. Spooky. 
something that causes fear or nervousness is a spooky. So what is a spooky? What is the meaning? Is espeluznante. Es spooky. Puede decir, it is spooky. Es espeluznante. Algo que da miedo. Ok, espeluznante. ¿Ya? Yeah? Algo que da miedo. Yes. Ok, guys. Do you have any question? Remember surveillance. Vigilancia, surveillance, yeah, vigilancia, okay, let's move, and now we are going to work on more vocabulary, yeah, so we have different words, and I need you to tell me what is the definition for each one, okay, so let's see, let's start with number one, number one is Idol. Idol. What is the meaning of idol? So idol means eh, desocupado, que está libre, que no está haciendo nada. Idol. Uh -huh. He's not working to be induced. Okay. Let me go ahead and yes, okay. So G. What about number two? Invasion. That one, yes, invasion, right? Now no? Let's move to number three, okay? What is the meaning of keystroke? Keystroke. What is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Okay, let's move to number four. Monitor. What is the meaning of monitor? Monitor, guys, in ese caso, no es un monitor. Okay. I mean, algo tangible. Monitor, monitorear. So what is the, the meaning? What is the... the um, the definition. Letter A. Observe something over a period of time to see what it's do. Thus. Thus. That and is correct. Information. Excellent. And gather information. Okay. So you monitor. Usted monitorea. Yeah, algunos creo que eh, monitorean diferentes cosas, right? So what about number five? Productivity. Letter E. Yes. The amount of the word person or group or the people does. Mm -hmm. So it measures against how long it takes them to do it and the cost of doing it. Good evening, Norma. Okay. What is the meaning of uh, register? Letter B, record to notice something. Excellent. Now, what is the meaning of surreptitiously? Surreptitiously. That means... Um, guys, eso significa a escondidas. Algo para que no se den cuenta. Surreptitiously. F, in a way that is trying not to be seen or noticed. Perfect. And what about number eight? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba surveillance? Vigilancia. Vigilancia. Uh -huh. 
Letter H. System for washing people. A system for washing people to create information. That is correct. Uh -huh. Now, we're missing two. Nos faltan dos. Okay. One is keystroke and the other one is invasion. So, keystroke Pretty. means... Uh -huh. A single touch of the key on a computer keyboard. Excellent. And invasion? A negative act which is, is unwelcome. Unwelcome. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Así es como se tiene que resolver exámenes o pruebas cuando usted no sepa lo, el vocabulario. Váyase lo que sí sabe y después deja lo que no sabe. Porque siempre va a encontrar la respuesta. Ok. So now guys. Let's move. Let's move. And we are going to continue with vocabulary. Ok. How do we call this? This is a security camera. Security camera. Yeah. What about this one? This one is. A. Hidden. Hidden camera. It is. Yeah, a little one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what about this one? How do we call this? This one is? Spy camera. Yes, a spy camera. The most common one, the one that we see the most, guys, is the security camera. Right? That one is the most common. Yeah, that one is the most common. Okay. So now. It's time for us to read surveillance, all right? Vigilancia, Vigilance. surveillance, yes. Okay, um, I will need your help. So let's see. Okay, we are going to read the following passage about surveillance technology, okay? La vigilancia en la tecnología, okay? Relacionada con la tecnología. So, uh, Emerson, the first paragraph, okay? Then Jonathan, the second paragraph. And um, let me see who else. Uh, Pablo, the last paragraph. Okay. All right. Go, guys. Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and it is used to resolve the question. It is spooky or preserves but a differing uses is the effect of surveillance on behavior and a new research paper shows in the details how significant the surveillance effects can be the res researchers measures the impact of the software that monitors employees level, death, and sales trans transaction before and after the technology was installed at 3,099 restaurant in 39 states. Okay. Okay. Uh, employee Death and fraud is a big problem, estimated at up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wage and they depend on tips. Employee replacement, maybe, is high. Mm -hmm. In that environment, uh, a certain amount of death has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Um, the next part of two. Yes. Okay. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and ordering the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. Thank you. Pablo. But the monitoring software is now available to track 
or transaction in the effect suspicion, suspicious parents after the installation of the monitoring software in compare the storm in present by an average of two thousand um, nine hundred eighty eighty two dollars a week. Mm -hmm. Knowing they were being being yeah. monitored the server not only pull back on any unit tech okay. but okay. <laughs> continue continue practice but also on channel they differ into say propin customer to have that dessert or second beer Thank you, all right? So first of all, let's focus on pronunciation, guys, okay? Uh, so this one is going to be revolves, revolves, yeah, revolves. Yeah, so this one is reassuring, reassuring. reassuring. Yes, reassuring. yes, reassuring, yeah? Reassuring. This one is issue, issue, issue. yeah? This one is 392, yeah, 392. Then this one is replacement, yeah, replacement. Uh -huh. uh, this one is going to be charging, charging, okay? This one increased, increased, increased. and this one is Unethical, 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 unethical. And this one is dessert, okay? Dessert. All right. So in this case, what do you think about this paragraph, this passage? Yeah. So it says, and the, the question is, right? So the question is, um, it, it is talking about surveillance technology, all right? La vigilancia, okay? Las cámaras que ponen en, en todos los lugares, los restaurantes, a donde están las cajeras, etc. All right? So, de eso habla esa lectura, yeah? So, it says, the question is, is it spooky or reassuring? Okay? Causa eh, miedo o causa... Eh, o tranquiliza. Okay, about surveillance technology. That is asking. Yeah, so it says, and look at the, the last paragraph. Okay, it says that after the installation of the monitoring software, income, ¿qué son los income? Las entradas, right? So income per restaurant increased, increased, incrementaron by an average of 2,982 a week. Okay, porque antes no tenían cámaras. Algunos restaurantes no tienen cámaras. Pero esa lectura está diciendo qué pasó cuando sí instalaron, when they installed surveillance technology. It says that actually the income per restaurant increased. Yeah. Why? Because they were knowing, right? So they were being monitored. They knew. They knew that they were being monitored. And it says that the servers not only pulled back, pulled back, retroceder, right? So... They said that the servers not only pull back on any unethical practices, but also channel their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have the dessert or a second beer. Yes. So do you think that surveillance technology is um, useful? in restaurant or any other type of store? 
being monitored? Do you think that yes or no? Yes, it's a, a reassuring. It's reassuring. Uh -huh. Reassuring. Yes, I agree. All right, so I think that, um, I mean, if you're working for a company, of course, right? So this is perfect. It avoids many misunderstandings, right? It avoids a lot of things. A lot of, how do you say robots? ¿Cómo se decía robots? Spilling. Okay, or, um, aquí está, miren. Theft. Theft. Mm -hmm. It avoids theft. Yes, surveillance technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Um, let me see. What else can I mention about this? That's very much, I think. Oh, remember? Okay, what is the meaning of wage? Here is wages, right? But what is the meaning of this word? What was wage? The pay of the employees. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay, guys, that's basically. So, yes, surveillance technology is really important in companies, right? In companies. Uh, I think that even at school, because of many things that happen, right? Mm -hmm. In any place, in the mall, in the restaurant, in a hotel in a lot of places, right? Even at home, right? Sometimes it's really important. Okay, so now let's move, okay? And let's uh, answer the following questions, okay? According to this passage, why do people think, why? Why do people think surveillance is considered a spooky? Why? Mm -hmm. because, According, yeah, because affected the privacy. Okay, because it affects uh privacy. 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 Yes. Yes, and that is correct. I mean, it is correct, right? So it does affect privacy. But at some point, it also mm, probably makes you feel more secure. Mm -hmm. So number two, how many restaurants were a part of the research? How many restaurants? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 392. Excellent. 392, right? And what is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Pronunciation. Fraud. Fraud. Okay. Theft and fraud. 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 What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Billion. 200 billion a year. Up to 200 billion. Imagine. It's a lot. Right? And number four, what is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? Imagine. Yeah. What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders according to this? Mm hmm Here we have it. 
It says, a simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. Yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. When they do not pay for uh, a round of drinks, right? And imagine when they when um, the customer pay, right, to take care of me, like cuando le pagan para que lo cuiden, cuando están en, lo, en, en los res, restaurants, right? Yes, so it's true. All right, what about number five? What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? What was the increase? The average is uh, 982. 2,982, guys. 2,000, 2,982. And the last one, what was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? Mm, uh, yeah. So it says that the servers not only pull back on any unethical practices, okay, but also channel their efforts into say prompting customers okay to have the dessert or a second beer ellos se lo, ofre se lo ofrecían right de ellos nacía la proactividad de ofrecer porque sabían que los estaban vigilando uh -huh. And we can we can see this type of um this type of situations in some uh, stores mm -hmm. that they offer you different things because sometimes um they are being monitored and if they don't say something that if they do not offer something probably they are going to be a scold what is the meaning of a scold uh los pueden regañar, right? Por eso a veces nos ofrecen algo en la que cuando uno paga le dicen, va a llevar eso, tenemos eso también. Porque aparte que es su trabajo, pero también en ocasiones es por esto. Ok. Surveillance technology. Ok. Now let's move and let's uh, move to a different topic, okay? So we are going to start talking about advantages and disadvantages. Pronunciation, advantages, disadvantages. Advantages, disadvantages. What is the meaning of advantages? Ventajas, disadvantages, desventajas. So now guys, here, okay, Si solo decimos, guys, if we only say advantage, sin la S, escuche advantage, advantages, advantage, one, singular, advantages, plural, okay? The same happens with desventajas. Without the S, disadvantage, one, disadvantages, two or more, okay? Vocabulary, synonyms, synonyms for advantage, yeah? Synonyms, and synonyms for disadvantage, yeah? So whenever we want to say una ventaja, vamos a decirlo, an advantage, una. Y cuando ya es plural, vamos a decir advantages, or two advantages, or three advantages, or four advantages, or some advantages, or many advantages, plural. Yeah. We also have 
synonyms. Sinónimos de ventaja, ¿ok? Todos los que están en celeste son sinónimos de ventaja. A benefit. A positive aspect. Or a good point. A benefit, a positive aspect, or a good point. Now, all of them can be plural. Todos se pueden hacer plurales. All of them. So, a benefit, two benefits, three benefits, some benefits, many benefits, etc. A positive aspect, two positive aspects, three positive aspects, some positive aspects, many positive aspects, etc. And the last one, a good point, two good points, Three good points, some good points, many good points, etc. Yeah. And we also have disadvantage, the opposite, lo opuesto, the opposite. So we have a disadvantage, could be a drawback. And what is a drawback, teacher? Desventaja. Todos son sinónimos. Todos son sinónimos. Okay. So a disadvantage, two disadvantages, three disadvantages, some disadvantages, etc. A drawback, two drawbacks, three drawbacks, some drawbacks. An objection, two objections, three objections, some objections, etc. And we also have a negative effect. Two negative effects, three negative effects, many negative effects, etc. Yeah. So those are words for you to practice and use whenever you are talking about advantages and disadvantages, guys. Those type of words are really common. For example, if I ask you right now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being rich? What do you think? Y ahora vamos al vocabulario. Ok. Leemos la pregunta y vamos al vocabulario. Yeah. So, remember. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being rich? Ok. So, an advantage of being rich is that you have a lot of money and if you are sick, you can pay for medicine, for surgeries, for treatments. That is an advantage. Now, what is a disadvantage, right? Okay, so, a disadvantage of being rich is need that a, uh -huh, need more security. That you need more security. That is correct. Or it could be that you cannot have real friends at some point. Oh. That is a disadvantage. Okay. Now, that is with an advantage and disadvantage, okay? Puedo decir lo misma idea con a benefit and a drawback. For example, a benefit of being rich is that if you are sick, you can pay for medicine, yeah? Now, a drawback of being rich is that you need more security. 
You see? So, esas son palabras para que usted exprese la misma idea. Son sinónimos. ¿Ok? Bien. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas. Do you have any doubts? Any question? If not, we are going to move in, and you are going to practice. Okay, so we have a couple of questions right here. Once again, pronunciation, advantages and disadvantages. So what I want you to do is I, I want you to practice the way that I did it, okay? Quiero que lo haga como yo le expliqué, okay? Primero lea la pregunta, comprenda la pregunta y después decide cuál va a utilizar, okay? Yeah, so we have. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being young? Okay, the ser joven. Yeah, there are advantages, but they, there are also disadvantages. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being old? Mm -hmm. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a city? Well, there are many advantages, but there are many disadvantages. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside? What is the countryside? El campo. Okay. Entonces no puedo decir camp or field, teacher, para campo. El campo, en la palabra campo, cuando nosotros decimos, ah, él vive en el campo. Right? Entonces es countryside. Okay, countryside. Okay. The countryside. El field es el campo, pero el lugar, ¿verdad? Como una cancha, como un gran campo así, donde podemos ver grama, grass. Okay. All right. So, and then you continue with those. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a house? There are advantages, but there are also disadvantages, right? Have you ever been to a slumber party? What is the meaning of a slumber party? Mm -hmm. A slumber party? No? No. Okay, a slumber party is going to be like saying una pijamada. Yeah, mm -hmm. una pijamada. Uh -huh. Then what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in an apartment? Okay. Eso es lo que vamos a practicar. Cuando ya hayamos practicado, right? Once you finish this, we are going to create a paragraph, a short paragraph. Where you are going to explain, and listen to this, right? You are going to explain whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. State at, at least three reasons to support your position. Okay, con su equipo va a desarrollar un pequeño párrafo, okay, explicando, guys, if you are in favor, si está a favor, or against, en contra, de la vigilancia en su trabajo. Y el por qué usted está a favor o está en contra. Quiero saber al menos, deme tres razones por qué está a favor y tres razones por qué está en contra. La que usted decide está bien, ¿ok? O está a favor o está en contra, ¿ok? O 50 and 50. You decide. Okay, so right now I'm going to create the rooms. If you cannot participate, okay, please stay in the main room. All right, so the other ones can work on this. And I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Um, so please stay present once you hear your name. Give me one second, I'm going to see where. It, okay. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Carlos Vladimir. Claudia María Guerrero. Eh, Daisy Elizabeth 
Resinos. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Yes, thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Kenia. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Let me see, Marian. Um, Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonilla. Marina. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Well, yes, I saw Norma. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you, okay. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Yeah, I saw Jonathan. Present. Yeah, and let me see, Norma. Yes, thank you, Norma. Um, okay, guys, let's move. Um, okay. Uh, uh, for me, I a favor because I I feeling more secure. Okay, me siento más seguro. Okay. Eh, otro se puede ser que sea se siente uno más confiado teniendo la, las cámaras en un lugar de ya sea de trabajo o, o un restaurante. You feel more safety. Ya. More safety, así es. Ok. Y, y la tercera, solo son tres, ¿verdad? I feel more safety. Um, yeah. Si querés nos saltamos, nos vamos a, a porque no, no estamos a favor. Ok. Eh, buenas noches. Hola, buenas, buenas noches. noches. Uh, for me, I don't have a privacy, privacy or privacy. ¿cómo se dice? Privacy. No tenemos privacy. Privacy. No tenemos. I don't. We uh, don't have privacy. Uh -huh. We. 
don't have yes sometimes is un uncomfortable always looking at us mm -hmm. okay other reason what Uh, I can't enter many places. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, Antonio, what are you? I think, well, I, right now, I, I think. Uh, the advantage that I I have the many advantage uh, because when I was young I can play the whole time enjoy it with my friends uh, watch TV listen to music play any sports etc. Uh, I don't have a responsibility and um, only my my class but is a little responsibility if you compare it uh, right now uh, for me uh, I don't don't uh, have this advantage. Um, what adventures? What are the advantage and disadvantages of being old? I think the experience, because year by year, you you give. The more experience and and you learn many things, but disadvantage you can't uh, make the many activities uh, uh, practice any sports or the other activities when you have. Um, uh, many years uh, your body that do your body don't permit yes I think uh, of the painters being all are the this the sessions that are regretted with the years, sample rheumatis. Now, uh, how do you say rheumat rheumatis in English? Eh, rheumat rheumatis. Rheumatis. No, I don't know. Um, let me look for it. Okay, ¿qué es rheumatis? Even in Spanish. Rheumatis. Cuando los articulaciones duelen. Ah, rheumatism. Okay. Okay, so I would say that that in English, um, let me see. Okay, continue. I will let you know in a minute. Okay. And the other advantages, maybe you don't have energy for doing activities, require it more mobilization. That require more movement. More movement. Movement. Thank you, Miss. Okay. So, uh, reumatismo, lo puede decir? Rheumatism. Rheumatism. Yes. Huh? Rheumatism. Rheumatism. Okay. Yeah, rheumatism. Yeah. 
Yeah, so in that in that way, you're also your quality of life will um, probably decrease, right? The quality of your life will decrease. Uh -huh. Decrease, yes. Yes. And what are the advantage and disadvantage of living in a city? Well, in my case, living in a city is. Excessive noises because of uh, the noise, probably. Yes, a, a lot of noise. Noise, yes. Mm -hmm. There is a, a lot of noise. This is the bench. Yes, and the bench is, I, I think it is you can go every. Thing, every place to more every fast, place. fast, yeah. uh, faster, faster. Yes. Yeah. It's immediately. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. What about you, Wendy? What do you think about this? Um. Wendy, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being old? Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Hello. Good evening. Uh, good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. What well, are the advantages? Yeah, and disadvantages of being old. Um, in English, Wendy. Um, no lo entiendo, teacher. Okay, so Wendy, mm -hmm. ¿qué significaba, Wendy, advantages and disadvantages? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Soy okay. perdido ahorita. Ok, ¿se conectó al principio de la clase o en medio? En medio de la clase, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok, all right. So, advantages and disadvantages son ventajas y desventajas. Mm -hmm. Ok, so, si le decimos y le preguntamos, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being old? Le estamos preguntando cuáles son las ventajas y desventajas de ser un adulto mayor. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, ahora que ya sabe qué significa y qué le estamos preguntando, ¿qué me puede responder acerca de eso? Ventajas uh -huh. y desventajas. I will... Advance, advance a world in time. Um, okay. Um, that you work more time or less time? Time. Okay. Um, but in this case, Okay, Wendy. Um, are you telling us una ventaja o una desventaja? Time, mm, ventaja. Okay. O sea, lo que le quiere decir es como tener una ventaja en mi trabajo. Es. Okay. ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? Yes. So I have an advantage at work. An advantage. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, uh, let's go to another room. Please, guys, uh, keep practicing, okay? So, Wendy, let's move. Okay, teacher. Okay, Wendy? Madre, teacher. Okay, bye. Um, so, let me see. Bye, vamos a practicar. Para que eh, eh, aprenda este día lo que estamos eh, estudiando. ¿Ok? Está bien. Bye. Ok, bueno. So, let's see. Bye. Eh, ok. So, Wendy, tenemos advantages and disadvantages. Repita después de mí y diga. Advantage. Advantage. 
Disadvantage. Disadvantage. A benefit. A benefit. A drawback. A drawback. A positive aspect. A positive aspect. An objection. An objection. A good point. A good point. A negative effect. A negative effect. Okay, so now, Wendy, in this case, eso significa una ventaja y eso significa una desventaja. Okay. Si yo le pregunto en este momento, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being famous? De ser famoso. Ah. ¿Qué me respondería en inglés, Wendy? Trat, ¿ok? Try, sí, Wendy. Trat. Hey, hmm. I want our advantages. An advantage. An advantage. Um, benefits. A benefits. Benefits. Ajá. Benefits. Oh. Famous. Okay, for example. Uh, music. Music, okay. Uh -huh. eh, cantante, ¿cómo se dice teacher? Oh, singer. A uh, singer. Eh, or, for example, singer. Um, work que canta en su trabajo a singer that that sing at work ok yeah. pero ok but in this case Wendy pero cuáles son las ventajas de ser famoso money <laughs> ok money yes money uh -huh. ah, que más what else um, advantages family Bueno, beneficios a uh, family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so benefits for the family. Exacto. Ok, dígalo, benefits for the family. Ben benefit of, of family. Of family. Of family. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. What else? Ok, ahora vamos con desventajas. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, okay. so... What are disadvantages of being famous? A mm. uh, disadvantage of being famous. Of being? Of being famous. Um, famous? Famous? No sé cómo se dice. How uh, do you say? How did you say? No, um, no money. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice, Tisha? Mm. Que no les dan, a, que no les dan la oportunidad en la disquera. Mm, que okay. a veces, ajá. They don't have opportunities. Ah, oh, exacto, es. Dígalo. They don't have opportunities. They don't have opportunity. Ok, now pasémonos a la siguiente. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being young? ¿Qué significa young? Eso sí no sé, teacher. Joven. Ah, ok. Ok. Ah. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being young, Wendy? Uh, what are advantages? Y disadvantage o beyond uh -huh. sería what are the advantages if it were que trabaja muy joven. Ok. Uh, you, you work at a... Ok, repita después de mí. Uh -huh. You work... You work... At a young... At a young... Age... Eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
And that is a disadvantage, right? Es una disadvantage. Es una disadvantage. In, ad, in an advantage? Disadvantage. Um... Advantage. Advantage. Mm -hmm. um, prior, priority um, in my house. Okay, priority in my house. In my priority. house. Priority. Uh -huh. Priority. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Us being young. Um, my children. O sea, como que trabaja muy pequeño joven. Ahora los niños. Eso quiero entender. Mm -hmm. Okay, pero en este caso. La okay. desventaja. Esa sería una desventaja. Pero una ventaja. Una ventaja, es, bueno, así se dice en español, sería como que le dan la oportunidad a los jóvenes de trabajar en las empresas. Ah, ok. Ok, so, ah, ok, repita eso después de mí. An advantage. Ajá. An advantage. Is. Is. That you get. And that, that you get. Job opportunities. Job opportunity. A disadvantage. En a disadvantage. Is. Is. Mm, people. People. Work. Work. At a young. At a young. Age. Age. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Bueno, vamos okay, con la this... siguiente. And what are the advantages and disadvantages of being old? ¿Cuál es la ventaja, la desventaja? Of this... being old. Of being old. Yes. Yeah. What are... What are the advantages? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Me cuida. Se cuida. O sea, como que quiero cuidar a una persona mayor. Um, people take care of me. People take care. Of me. Take care. Of me. Mm -hmm. Take care. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. These advantages, for example, year. Ajá. La desventaja de una persona menor sería su edad. The age. The age. Age. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. The age. Y la ventaja. Advantage. Vamos, trate. Uh -huh. Advantages. I happy. I happy. Que ellos viven felices. They live happy. They they happy. They live. They live happy. Okay. Vaya, muy bien. La voy a mover a otro salón para que pueda practicar así como les haciendo conmigo. Okay. Ay, Ay, va a disculpar, pero me está costando. No, es que, es que así es lo que ustedes tienen que hacer cuando están en los salones. Tienen ah, que vale. practicar, ¿okay? ¿ok? Pero si solo nos quedamos en silencio, no vamos a aprender. Está bien, Tiche. ¿Okay? Gracias. Quiero escuchar que practique. Ya voy a, a observar que todos están... <risa> está okay. bien, Tiche, gracias. Ok. okay. dangerous and in case of the emergency can react earlier or faster or... are you done with that with the paragraph like with the short paragraph no 
Yes. Yes, you're done. Here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Let me see. Mm. Okay, uh, guys. Are you ready with the paragraph? Yes, but yeah, we don't reach ten lines. <laughs> no, no, no. Just a, a short paragraph. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Let Let's go back to the main room, guys. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Thank. You. Okay, so um, Juan, let me ask you, what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a city? Okay, some advantages are um, we can, um, wait. Yes. We can have many business or um, stores, gas station and pharmacy near from our house or okay. our department. Okay. And disadvantage is um, the city is more noisy and mm -hmm. oh, the city is noisier than the countryside and there are pollution there is there is pollution okay yes perfect very good um okay so emerson what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside Mm -hmm. Is Emerson there? No? Yeah, I think that he is there. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. I have a problem. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I never live in the... I never live in the, the countryside, but I think the advantages may be and don't have a noise it's, and the air is clear uh -huh. and you have more space okay disadvantage may be you can you can request more time for translation or to recite to move right from one site mm -hmm. or yes. to from one place to another place uh -huh. yes this is a benefit yeah i agree okay i agree yes of course okay yes i will say that yes okay um let me see um okay let me let me check uh here george uh, George, what in your opinion are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a house? The advantage, I, I think uh, that are many advantages because you have a uh, privacy. Privacy? Yeah, privacy. And you... Uh, make uh, you can uh, stay with your family okay you enjoy with your family mm -hmm. and i i think you it is is better because you can relax uh, when you when you want yes okay disadvantage i i can't see disadvantage i i think don't 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 have any disadvantage okay all right so and what about living in an apartment do you see more disadvantages yes i told with the partners in the mm -hmm. break room and um, i think have a, um 
uh, many disadvantages because okay. it's the opposite. You don't have a privacy. Uh, yes, privacy? Yeah. Privacy, sorry, privacy. You don't have privacy. And uh, I talk, for example, uh, you have neighbor right down in front of, up, down. Uh, you listen the old uh, when your neighbor people with the other people on um, when you uh, I I told when I was nine years or ten years old for example I lived in with my father in a in an apartment in San Salvador mm -hmm. and I feel strange because when I uh, opened the door mm -hmm. I see the neighbor in front of the apartment with my father and mm -hmm. for example uh, there are uh, people watching tv and i feel a stranger because in my house i don't have this yes and the space is is, is a little bit mm -hmm. uh, yeah and uh, i i don't know i i don't like the apartments Yes, no, I you don't prefer like houses. Yes, I, I prefer to live in a house. Okay, yes, mm, I agree. I think that you have a lot of uh, probably um, amenities, right? Whenever you live in your in your house, right? Because in an apartment, uh, it could be kind of uncomfortable, as you said before, because you don't have enough privacy, right? But uh, okay, yeah, I agree. Okay. So I would like to listen to your opinions, guys, okay? Are you in favor or against of employee surveillance at your workplace and why? Mm -hmm. Why are you in favor or why are you against? For me, uh, in favor. In favor, why? Because, uh, because I fear more uh, more safe safer safe okay okay i feel more safe okay okay mm -hmm. what about you juan um i am a favor in favor in favor. Uh -huh. Okay. Because the employees do their job better. Mm -hmm. Okay. All. all right. Okay. Emerson, what about you? Well, in my opinion, I agree with the use the supervillains because in my work, for example, the TV is are dangerous sometimes and require um, react to help us in, in case of the accident. Okay. It's necessary to be vigilance. All right. Mm -hmm. I agree. Perfect. Um, what about you? Let me see. Uh, what do you think on this one? Let me see. Okay. Vladimir, what do you think on this? Uh, do you think, well, are you in favor or against of employee surveillance? I am in favor. Okay. Because it's necessary uh, that employees is uh, to, to surveillance. Uh, Surveilling the plan or, or the building. Yeah, I think that you mean the same as, as Emerson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think the same. The, um, I think that it is really necessary for us to be monitored uh, constantly, right? Because of any type of issue that we may have. That is correct. 
All right, guys, let's move. Okay, let's move and let's focus on the last thing that we are going to cover today. And we are going to talk about expressing preferences. Yeah. So we're going to learn how to express preferences and with would rather. Yeah, would rather. So basically, as you can see, we have the structure. We have the subject plus would rather plus verb in base form. And we also have the complement. Yeah. So it says, I would rather go to the movies. So we are saying that we prefer to go to the movies. Okay. So would rather means preferiría, prefiero. Okay. Preferencia. I would rather go to the movies. Prefiero ir a el cine. Okay? Or the contraction. I'd, I'd rather go to the movies. Either or, okay? Cualquiera de las dos, it's okay. Yeah? Then we also have, I would rather, verb in base form, than... Porque está comparando dos actividades. So, verb in base form and complement. For example, I would rather go to the movies than go dancing. Yo prefiero ir al cine que ir a bailar. Yeah? Or the contraction. I'd rather go to the movies than go dancing, the contraction, yeah? Would rather, I would rather eat chicken. I would rather buy a computer, right? Or I would rather eat chicken than eat pizza. I would rather buy a computer than buy a cell phone. You're comparing preferences, preferencias. Okay. Do you have any doubt about this? Questions, dudas, preguntas, guys, acerca de esto? Would rather, preferences, preferencias. Uh -huh. Preferences. No? Okay, so then I want you to create, quiero que cree una oración en este momento como la primera estructura y otra con la segunda. Okay, y me la manda el chat. Okay. Please try to not omit uh, words, ¿ok? Fíjese bien para que no omita palabras en sus oraciones, ¿ok? Que estén completas. Y el punto y final en la oración. I would rather play tennis. Okay. Okay, Tatiana. 
I would rather. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Ese tú, Pablo, no lo lleva. Mm -hmm. I would rather eat hamburger than eat pizza. Yes. I would rather play football in the afternoon. I would rather read some books and play video games. Yes. I would rather go to the go to Maurice, I would rather go yeah. to dance. Uh, go to yeah. dance. Le va a eliminar okay. el THE y le va a eliminar la D de, después de uh, la E. Okay, okay. Y la otra está bien. I would rather walk okay. than run. Yeah, that one is perfect. I would rather travel in my car than in a bus. But in lugar de in a bus, podemos decir on a bus, okay? Mary would rather, Mary would rather invite, okay. Mary would rather invite without S, Emerson, remove S. Mary would rather invite Carla than Maria to the party, okay? You will remove S and that two. The first two is not necessary. And number two, I would rather buy a new car. Yes. I would rather go to the mountains than to the beach. Okay, Tatiana. I would rather eat a hamburger than eat vegetables. Yes. Okay, very good. So you see, it's very easy, right? And simple. Would rather expressing preferences. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go, go to dance. Okay, yes, Morris, in that way. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now we also have the negative. Okay, tenemos la negative. Negative. So we have, I would rather not, verb in base form and complement. I would rather not go to the movies. I feel very tired. ¿Qué estamos diciendo? Preferiría no ir al cine. Me siento cansado. All right. Or the contraction, I'd rather not go to the movie. I feel very tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, the same thing, create one sentence, okay, with negative. Make sure you do not forget the parts of the sentence, okay? One sentence. I rather I rather not spend my time. Okay. I rather not go to the beach. I feel very sick. Yes, Maurice. I would I would like to play soccer on Sunday. Um okay, Wendy. Uh, I would rather not study Mandarin. I prefer English. I would rather not study Mandarin, I prefer English. Yes, it is correct, but not correct at the same time, Juan, because of the capital letter. Okay, recuerde que cuando hablamos de nombres propios, como por ejemplo Mandarin, right, in English, son nombres propios, va en letra mayúscula la primera. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, guys. Ah. Uh, 
I would rather not eat chicken. I like beans. <laughs> okay, Pablo. Um, you were missing the letter O. Okay, le faltó la O antes de la U. But okay. I would rather not buy a new cell phone. I have a good cell phone. Okay. Very good, Vladimir. Okay, guys. Let's move and let's take... Um, Let's take the listening quiz, all right? Let's move and let's take the listening quiz. The listening quiz. Um, let me let me get the link, okay? If you are not on the on the spreadsheet, let me get it for you. The listening one, okay? The listening guys. El vocabulary quiz todavía no. Después de listening lo vamos a tomar. Um, déjeme ver si es el incorrecto. Eh, yes. Ok. That is the link, okay. And the code listening, okay. El passcode es listening. Se la voy a poner three times, okay. Three times, guys. Three times. Okay. Let me see. All right, guys, so let me know once you're in so I can play the report. Okay. All right, guys, so here we go with the first time. Okay, get ready. Okay. Um, all right, so here we go. Um, yes, I'd like to report a theft. Okay, can you tell me exactly what happened? Well, I was walking home from work two days ago, enjoying the nature all around me. The birds, the frogs, the flowing stream. Okay, okay. When this woman knocked me right off my feet, grabbed my stuff, and ran off through the trees. Hmm. I was so surprised by the ordeal that I didn't go after her. Yeah. Can you describe the woman for me? Yeah. He was about 190 centimeters tall. Wait. You said a woman robbed you? Well, I'm not really sure. Hmm. You see, the person was wearing a white and black polka dot dress a light red sweater over it, and she or he was wearing a pair of basketball shoes. Hmm. What else can you tell me? Okay. Like I said, the person was about 190 centimeters tall, heavy build, with long wavy hair. She or he was probably in his or her late 30s. I didn't get a good look at the person's face, but, well, uh... What? Was there something else? Well, the person had a beard. Ah, what was uh, taken exactly? Well, just my left shoe. Bizarre, isn't it? Ah, the bearded woman has struck again. The bearded woman? Yeah, it's this man who dresses up like a woman and for some unknown reason removes the left shoe from his victims. He's really quite harmless, though, and he usually returns the shoe to the crime scene a couple of days later. Hey, he can keep my shoe, and I'll just take off my left shoe every time I walk through the park. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. Next time, okay? The second time. Yes, I'd like to report a theft. Okay, can you tell me exactly what happened? Well, I was walking home from work two days ago, enjoying the nature all around me. The birds, the frogs, the flowing stream. Okay, okay. When this woman knocked me right off my feet, grabbed my stuff, and ran off through the trees. Hmm. 
I was so surprised by the ordeal that I didn't go after her. Yeah, can you describe the woman for me? Yeah, he was about 190 centimeters tall. Wait, you said a woman robbed you? Well, I'm not really sure. Hmm. You see, the person was wearing a white and black polka dot dress, a light red sweater over it, and she or he was wearing a pair of basketball shoes. Hmm. What else can you tell me? Okay. Like I said, the person was about 190 centimeters tall, heavy build, with long wavy hair. She or he was probably in his or her late 30s. I didn't get a good look at the person's face, but well, uh... What? Was there something else? Well, the person had a beard. Ah, what was uh, taken exactly? Well, just my left shoe. Bizarre, isn't it? Ah, the bearded woman has struck again. The bearded woman? Yeah. It's this man who dresses up like a woman and for some unknown reason removes the left shoe from his victims. He's really quite harmless, though, and he usually returns the shoe to the crime scene a couple of days later. Hey, he can keep my shoe, and I'll just take off my left shoe every time I walk through the park. Okay. So the last time, okay? Yes, I'd like to report a theft. Okay, can you tell me exactly what happened? Well, I was walking home from work two days ago, enjoying the nature all around me. The birds, the frogs, the flowing stream. Okay, okay. When this woman knocked me right off my feet, grabbed my stuff, and ran off through the trees. Hmm. I was so surprised by the ordeal that I didn't go after her. Yeah, can you describe the woman for me? Yeah, he was about 190 centimeters tall. Wait, you said a woman robbed you? Well, I'm not really sure. Hmm. You see, the person was wearing a white and black polka dot dress, a light red sweater over it, and she or he was wearing a pair of basketball shoes. Hmm. What else can you tell me? Okay. Like I said, the person was about 190 centimeters tall, heavy build, with long wavy hair. She or he was probably in his or her late 30s. I didn't get a good look at the person's face, but well, uh... What? Was there something else? Well, the person had a beard. Ah, uh, what was uh, taken exactly? Well, just my left shoe. Bizarre, isn't it? Ah, uh, the bearded woman has struck again. The bearded woman? Yeah. It's this man who dresses up like a woman and for some unknown reason removes the left shoe from his victims. He's really quite harmless, though, and he usually returns the shoe to the crime scene a couple of days later. Hey, he can keep my shoe, and I'll just take off my left shoe every time I walk through the park. Okay. Okay, I got, uh, okay. Well, I can see that most of you got 80s, okay? And I can see that some of you got 100, okay? But most of you got 80s. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So now what we are going to do is that, yes, um, we are going to take the vocabulary quiz, okay? The vocabulary quiz, let me get the link. This one is basically really easy for you guys. That quiz is piece of cake. The passcode is grammar, okay?
Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I can see that. Okay, let me see which did you fail. Okay. Okay, so now guys, um, okay, I need uh, one volunteer. Well, in this case, let me see. Wendy, can you please help us reading? Ayúdenos a leer eh, todo ese párrafo, Wendy. Todo. But I, have, I have agreed a new to report. I use code from a promotion and race. Mm -hmm. I be I be been working for my company for the past three years and things have go gone through mainly with first I, I happen my department Craig Sal Craig Sal by to what's that? To 200, 200. 200 during that time, we had an adversite and promote our product and trade show in the newspaper and on TV and customer have already enjoyed our product as arrested arrest or company repu reputation and imagine have expanded beyond or area and new more and more and more customer are learning about just by word. Use by word of mouth when you have satisfied customer, the new get around. In addition, yeah. to its crazy sales. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I've established. I got working. Relat relations. Relations with my colleagues. Okay, colleagues. Colleagues. Why recognize? Recognize? Okay. Re we, we recognize? We recognize is a person is strength. Strengths. Strengths and respect other opinion. I think my co work Co-worker, I feel I can lead the department in the right direction. Mm -hmm. There before, I humbly accepted the promotion and raised an I strip to do my best for my company and customer in the future. In the future, okay. Repeat after me and say area. 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 Now say health. Help. Health. Help. 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 Now say 200%. How? How? Two. 200. 200. How? 200. 200. Mm -hmm. Dígalo. 200. 200. Percent. Present. Percent. Person. Okay. 200 percent. Okay. 200 percent. Yes. All right, guys. Um, let me see what happened. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So let's pay attention. I'm going to play this short recording okay and you need to give me the answer for question number one and two okay this is a short recording okay pay attention to pronunciation okay because that's what i need you to pay attention to pronunciation okay and just let me yeah here we go let me see if i'm sharing the, the audio yes i have great news to report I just got a promotion and a raise. I've been working for my company for the past three years and things have gone extremely well. First, I helped my department increase sales by 200% during that time. We have advertised and promoted our products at trade shows, in the newspaper and on TV, and customers have really enjoyed our products. As a result, our company's reputation and image have expanded beyond our area. Now. More and more customers are learning about us by word of mouth. When you have satisfied customers, the news gets around. In addition to increased sales, I've established a good working relationship with my colleagues. We recognize each person's strengths and respect others' opinions. I think my coworkers feel I can lead the department in the right direction. Therefore, I humbly accepted the promotion and raise. And I'll strive to do my best for my company and my customers in the future. Okay. So the man has worked for his company for how many years? Mm -hmm. In this case, it says for? Three years. Three years. That is correct. And why is the man up for a promotion? Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, increased sales by 200%. Excellent. Okay, because he has increased product sales. That is correct. Okay. So now let's move and let's uh, continue with the second short listening. Okay. This is for you to pay attention to vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary, guys. And let me just fix this so you can see it. Okay, vocabulary. 
this is for you to pay attention to vocabulary. So I will need, um, Maurice, please read this one. Okay. Read this one. What? This, this one. Okay. This paragraph. If you, if you are looking for a new job, here are some job interview tips you should keep in the mean when I'm meeting with a potential employee. First, be sure to dress a prop, a prop, uh, appropriately mm -hmm. for the situation. If you are interview, inter interviewing mm -hmm. for a teaching job, if you may want to consider wearing a nice pant and a dress sh 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 shirt. However, you don't want to overdress for the interview aid either. Mm -hmm. Next to sure to do some research on the company for which you are interviewing. interviewing. Mm -hmm. This will help you know if you have to need a skill of experience to work for that company. Finding out something about the company will help you have intelligent questions about their Business to slow. To show? To show. To show. Then you are interested, interested in their company. Finally, be prepared to tell them why you will be the best choice for the position you don't have to boss about. Mm -hmm. You're a company. Listening, yes, but you can tell them in the confident and direct way, way, why you can help their company better than other applicants. Applicants, okay, very good. Okay, listen to the pronunciation of this one. Okay, listen yeah. to the pronunciation. Okay, here we go. If you're looking for a new job. Here are some job interview tips you should keep in mind when meeting with a potential employer. First, be sure to dress appropriately for the situation. If you are interviewing for a teaching job, then you might want to consider wearing nice pants and a dress shirt. However, you don't want to overdress for the interview either. Next, be sure to do some research on the company for which you are interviewing. This will help you know if you have the needed skills or experience to work for that company. Finding out something about the company will also help you ask intelligent questions about their business to show them you are interested in their company. Finally, be prepared to tell them why you would be the best choice for the position. You don't have to boast about your accomplishments, but you can tell them in a confident and direct way why you can help their company better than other applicants. Okay, for a job interview, a man should consider wearing... What do you think? A dress shirt, shirt. A dress shirt, okay. So, guys, what is the meaning of overdress? What is overdress? Overdress. Uh, it says, however, you don't want to overdress for the interview either. Elegante. The overdress es como vestirse eh, demasiado llamativo. Uh -huh. okay? mm -hmm. Exactly, okay? That is correct. 
Yeah. And what is the meaning of boast? You don't have to boast about your accomplishments. Boast. Presumir. 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 Accomplishments. Logros. Okay. Logros. Yes. Okay. So question number two. Finding out about the company can help people. ¿A qué puede ayudar? Finding out about the company can help people. Letter. Letter A. Show the interesting. In working there. That is correct. Uh -huh. That is correct. Okay, guys. So now, before we go, okay. So let me see. We are not going to create a short story because uh, we don't have enough time, okay? But, okay. So, um, what can you see on these pictures? Can you tell me what can you see on these pictures? What do you see on picture number one? What do you see? Tell me things that you see on picture number one. Uh -huh. There is... Okay, there is a, a boat, a ship. Okay, what else? What else do you see? The sea. The sea. What else? Skies. The Go sky. Take, they take have. A, take a tour. Okay, they are taking a tour. Okay, probably right. So, how do you say nubes? Cloud. 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 Yes, cloud. Uh -huh. What do you see on picture number two? I see Isla. An island. An island. 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 No ice. I island. Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What else do you see? The cow. The beach. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, the beach, right? Mm -hmm. How do you say palmera? Palm. Uh -huh. Palm? Palm trees. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back till Monday 10th, okay? Yes, don't forget that you have vacation, but try to study, okay? Try to study on vacation, okay? I hope I hope you have a good vacation, guys, and I'll see you on Monday 10th, okay? You can go ahead and rest. Have a good night, okay? Have Take a good care, night, guys. teacher. Good, good night, night, guys. Take care, Bye. guys. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Take care. Bye, miss. Bye, guys. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, Wendy. Take care. Okay, sure.